Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Raila Odinga landed in Vega County for his five days tour of the entire western region. I know there's a video that has been shared on social media showing how Raila was received in a huge crowd in Vihiga. Personally, I don't want to associate myself with that video because it is better I give you the real information on the ground. I understand Vihiga politics. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that Raila landed somewhere in Cheptulu. Cheptulu is a small market within Vihiga County. But if you look on how these people received Raila Odinga, it tells you that Raila has been well received in Western region. Having landed in a small market area like that, but you look on the people, how they came in in large numbers to receive Raila, is a main thing. Because this is not Mbale. Remember Mbale is that the, the town, is the main town for Vihiga County. So if you land in Mbale, you have a crowd. But this is not Mbale. So from from uh, from Cheptulu, Raila went through Shamahoko, where he also addressed uh, some people there. Then from Shamahoko, he went through Mago, Mdete, then Mbale. So generally, Raila Odinga was received very well in a super amazing crowd. Remember also, Vihiga County is the smallest county in Western region in terms of population and even landmass. I want you to shortly watch on how Raila was received. Then we are going to continue with this conversation. We are continuing the panel discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, I know most of you know that Vihiga County is the home county to Musalia Mdavadi, who can do an talk. <laughs> and uh, the same Musalia Mdavadi has promised to give William Ruto 90% instead, the, instead of the 70% target that he was given by William Ruto. Lakini kinaya ni kwamba, the iron here, is that when Raila Odinga land in the same area, Vihiga County, an area somewhere in Shamahoko, which is just neighbor to Mago, na ukiwa Mago, na tenamuka tu chini hivi like 300 kilometers, uko kwa msali ya mdaba di nyumbani. Wanaambia Raila Odinga mwizi ni William Samoy Ruto. So I don't know how they will vote for William Ruto. These are the same individual who are supposed to stand with Musalia Mdavadi. Anzie Vihiga akiendelea. The same Musalia Mdavadi was in Western, actually Vihiga County, just to counter Raila Odinga before he arrived in the area. But despite his meetings, still Raila Odinga has been received very well in a super amazing crowd and he has had very nice rallies in western i know it is still going on as i'm recording now but at this moment he is in vihiga sorry in mbale town addressing the people of mbale that is the main town for vihiga county so in all this msalem dabadi still i know he has had his meetings in bungoma uko Sirisia. he has been in malaba kakamega he has been in lugare kuisero Shinyalu, Hamisi, Ugo Kote. So there is the counter attack meeting, rallies, as Raila is visiting Western region. So this is the current situation in Vihiga. I know maybe tomorrow Raila will be in, in, in Kakamega, and that's why Mdaba Diamekimbia Uko, just to go and counter those rallies before he arrives. <laughs> then after that, maybe he will be in uh, Busia. Lafa Rudu Kongene Bungoma Kiendelea Transoya Naivo Naivo. So five days in Western, one day in every county. <laughs> and if you look on the respond on ground, 
it tells you that Raila will have more influence as far as Western Region Bloc is going to vote compared to what William Samuel Ruto will get. I have never heard in any single day anyone in Western Region referring to Raila Odinga as Mwizi or an corrupt individual. But every time Raila Odinga comes in Western, it has been easy for these people to refer to our Deputy President William Samai Ruto as Mwizi, Mukora. Yes, like that. Things like Vitu Kamaizu. So what does this one tells you as a person who think, believe, and respect for William Ruto to get votes in Western Region? Because from the to deliver the 90% or 70%, it means he has to start with the Sabatia constituency, where he come from. Then the entire bigger count. Unfortunately, the opposite is happening. <laughs> Again, there have been a little rival between Governor Otichiru and the Senator George Haniri. This has happened in Shamakoka. The reason here is because George Kaniri is coming from the Tirik community and the Shamakoko largely is occupied by the Tirik, Tirik sub-tribe. Because of that, of course, this is his hometown. So these people had to believe had to receive him in that more amazing way compared to how they have been responded to Governor Otichiro. So that is the situation. But the truth of the matter is that those who are going to vote for Otichiro, they will vote for Raila Odinga. Of course, he's an ODM member. And those who are going to vote for Senator George Haniri, still they will be voting for Raila Amolo Odinga. <laughs> so there is nothing Raila will lose as far as these two are on ballot. But the possibility of ODM retaining the Vihiga governor seat is there. Because these other areas, they have been splitting the vote. I explained in one of the videos like three days ago. I explained that. So we are going to watch careful to see as Raila progress in his campaigns in the Western region. So that we can tell if really Raila. William Ruto will have something to salvage in Western, or if Raila is going to get more. Because what is happening as of now is Musalam Dabadi now coming every time to Western to defend. But Raila, when he comes, he's coming to score. <laughs> so you can see those who are defending and those who are scoring. In the real situation, could be that because Mdabad was already one day earlier in Vihiga County. Then it means Mdavad should have had a huge rally and because of that they were, we, could, we were anticipating that if Raila arrived, he should have just a mere small gathering to welcome him in the area because of the counter attack rallies from Musalem Mdavad. But that has not happened. If you compare on how Mdavad was received in Vihiga to what Raila Molodinga has received in the same area, seemingly it is evidently clear that Raila has received a more warm welcome compared to Musalia Mdavadi. I know there is a viral video that have been trending about how Mdavadi had a meeting in the same Vihiga county. Hey, what were camera wanafanda kazinsuri? But if you compare those rallies, of course, Raila has a more and a well-mobilized crowd compared to Musalia Mudavadi. Again, when Raila came to Western Region, Hakuna Wakati wanapea watu pesa za mobilization. That one you have to understand. But when William Samai Ruto make his way to Western, when you see him landing in Vihiga, pesa za kumobilize watu zinakuanga zimemwagwa, so that what were mobilized on time to attend that rallies. So you can draw the line and tell if you are using money to mobilize people to come, and another person come in the same area 
without using any single resource to mobilize for the crowd. So who have more say in this area? Who will score high between these two? Yoni mekwachia, niambia in the comment section. I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.